this is Autodesk Rivet. To create a new file, you will simply come up here and select Default 2019 or whatever file name I have given you or template I have given you to use. So we'll click on Default 2019. And this is the drawing environment. So this is where you will actually draw. Uh, these four uh, things here, uh, think of those like cameras. So you want to draw somewhere in the middle of these four cameras. Consider this one the north, east, south, and west cameras. So over here on the left is your properties menu. So anytime you add a wall, a door, a window, you can change the properties um, by clicking on this little drop down here and you can have different options, different choices for different things. Down here uh, below that is your project browser. So you have level one, level two, you have site. You can actually add more levels. Uh, down below that a couple uh, sections is elevations. So the, the north camera is this is your north elevation. Your south is your south elevation and east is east and west is obviously west. Uh, below that is um, legends and schedules and there will be some other things that will appear as you create them such as 3D renderings, sections. When you create those different categories will appear here. Uh, a little bit further below that are your sheets. So you have all the sheets that are preloaded into this template. So this is where you will actually add the various views or, or floor plans elevations that you will add to these sheets um, throughout uh, the design of your building or structure whatever it may be. Up here at the top is your main um, commands so we're in the architectural tab so you have the wall, the door, the window, components think of components like furniture um, anything that is movable uh, is pretty much a component and then we have a lot of other features right here uh, we also have some others that we use. We mo use most commonly annotate. Uh, annotate is where you find text and also dimensions. You also have a component uh, feature with annotate, but this is more of like decorations for particular views. These are not actual uh, things that are being placed within the structure, uh, and you'll see examples of that. We have mask, region, mask regions right here, so if you want to uh, use those, and we will use those throughout this course. Detail line, like a construction line, if you need to use kind of like a workable uh, kind of detail line, you can, you can use that there. We also use a lot view. And so we have section view, where we'll cut a section. We have 3D rendering, where we would render our views. And we have uh, thin lines, where we see the thin lines, because our lines that we draw will have thickness, uh, but we can actually choose to see them as thin lines versus the, um, the, the seeing the thin lines versus seeing the thickness of the lines as they're set by rivet. So those are the main uh, three tabs that we use. We'll use others, but those are the three main ones. Um, so when you draw here, uh, you will draw a floor plan and when you get ready to put it on a sheet, you'll need to decide your scale. Notice your scale is right down here. So this is where you can click on this and you can change your scale to be whatever it needs to be to fit on your sheet. We have smaller sheets, so I'll double click on A1 just to show you what it looks like. So that we have smaller sheets. So our scale might need to change a good bit depending on the size of our structure to fit on the sheet. So we'd want to come and change, click on this and change the scale accordingly. Uh, you also have things like uh, view or detail level. Uh, do you want to show coarse, medium or fine? And we will play with those throughout um, our design. Uh, we also have whether we want it to be realistic, wireframe, hidden, shaded. We use realistic uh, a good bit. There's also one called uh, show crop region. So when you pull a view that you have created, so we, let's say we've drawn a floor plan and we're ready to put it on a sheet. Uh, when you do that, um, there is a what we call a crop region just, just outside of these cameras. And that will need to be pulled in just and tucked around your structure so that it will be easier for you to move around when it is on the sheet. 
Um, there's also an option where you can t you can obviously turn the crop region on and off. Uh, so after you adjust it, you can turn it back off so you don't see it. There's also uh, the reveal hidden elements uh, option down here at the bottom. So there will be times where you'll want to turn things off to, to work so you can see other things. Uh, when you turn those things off or you hide those things, you can see what you have hidden by clicking this light bulb and then it will show you how to um, you kind of easily turn the things back on that you have hidden. Uh, so that's just a brief overview of what this drawing looks like, what, what the drawing environment or the program of Rivet looks like.